So, wifey was able to make it to open mat today, and she took a little video of some of my sparring sessions. This is with a gentleman named Matt. He's been doing jiu-jitsu for about two weeks now, but he does come from the Muay Thai side of things, and he knows how to take care of himself. This was one of the funner matches of the day for me. Had a really good time, and Matt was quite the challenge, and I'd like to share this with you guys today. See, we started off, uh, this whole time, I just wanted to sit and pull guard, maybe like a butterfly guard or full guard if I could get it, but I definitely wanted to get some butterfly hooks in and try to work on sweeps today. Right here, I decided to go for a scissor sweep, but my right arm is on the wrong side of his head. I try to sweep his leg and he hops over my leg, so I decided to push his leg out from under him and force my way back up. It was a bit more difficult than what I had hoped it would have been, <laughs> but I still got a decent outcome. Working a little side control here. For two weeks, he's, he's, he's doing excellent. Maybe he's seen us uh, rolling a few times over there and picked up a few things, but uh, I was trying to go for maybe a north-south choke, but he like had my head wrapped up a little bit. And his grip was tight as hell. You could tell I was not liking that. But, you know, I'm trying to buy my time a little bit. I know I'm not in any immediate danger right now. We're in that kind of like a little headlocky uh, scramble neutral position. You know, we get up. I tried some type of hip toss throwing the arm, but uh, did not land where I wanted to end up, obviously. He's got my back. He's got one of my legs trapped. You know, I'm trying to work with work the hand out. That hand, it was in tight. I did not like this. And it was at this moment I knew Matt would be tougher than expected. His arm, is it's almost got my throat. So I was trying to take this very seriously. Get, the, get that arm out of there. It was getting close. I hold on to his arm here, trying to post up and kind of control where I want him to go. Then I regain side control, get a better position. Right here I'm thinking I kind of want to do something. I want to maybe go for an arm triangle or try to advance my position a little bit. I see his foot hanging out up there, so you know, I kind of kick it down so I can gain the full mount. Right here, i seen he was on the side, so I wanted to gift wrap him up. This is something Jimmy taught us a few weeks ago. I lift him up high enough so I can, so I can get both of my hooks in. Maintaining his back, he rolled over on his belly. I don't think he liked that very well, so we went back. He was trying to get his back to the mat, but I did have one arm across his neck, so I did grab his inside collar. And here I'm reaching for some fabric on his pants so I can get my first bow and arrow choke. This was an excellent roll and I look forward to seeing that again.